Welcome, everybody, to another episode of the CD Sport Podcast with me, Kerry Davis. Joining us today, former guest of the show, personal friend of mine, Rodri Clancy. How are you, Rods? Good, pal. What's happening, champ? It's going to say something else. <laughs> like, got a bit tongue-tied by you. <laughs> yeah. You, you, uh, were you, CrossFit, okay? you were CrossFit Clancy, and now you're uh, Iron Man Clancy. Iron Man Clancy. Crypto Clancy. Yeah. Crypto Clancy. I like my cup, bye. I know. I, I like that, bye. Fair play. You going you gonna to have the tattoo on you? No. Are you? No. Why? I uh, thought about it for about a second, and I was like, nah, not for me. It is a pretty cool tattoo, though. It's on the car. I saw the... Uh, the photo on your Instagram, yeah, I think it was with you and Holly. And like you got your number and the sign on your arm of Neil. Yeah, yeah. That's like printed on, is it? Like stuck on, like a... Like a triathlon, any try you do, they'll you chuck a t- tattoo on your left arm with your yeah. number. And then on, yeah. your, on your, the back of your right calf, they'll have um, a letter to say which age category you're in. It's for the, the um, judges who go around on bikes and stuff. And they just keep an eye on who's who. Because like you'll have pen, penalty stations yeah. in the race where you'd have to, <clears throat> if you like break the rules, getting straight into it, we, uh, if you break the rules, you got to have like a five minute penalty stop and they only can track that by your number and, and which age category and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I didn't know that at all. There we are. Yeah. I say, there you go. We had, I had one of my mates, well, a while ago now, Mike Worthing, shout out to Mike. And he didn't mention that at all to me. So learn something every day by yeah, yeah. <laughs> So it's actually like a stick on tattoo. And it yeah, wasn't yeah, off there. Yeah. Oh, obviously, you wouldn't need it. We used to have as kids, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, I don't know if we used to have Power Rangers, but um, yeah, I don't think I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't know that at all, boy. No, well, uh, obviously, boy, like you said, was it three weeks ago now, was it? You did it? Oh, it's over a month ago now. <clears throat> Is it over a month ago? Yeah, four or five weeks ago. Time's gone quick. I say I met I met you prior to it tonight. So fuck, but I'll have yeah, you on so, now after you've yeah. done the Iron Man and we'll have a bit of a chat because you did busy, I, you've been busy saving lives. No, you've been busy. Oh yeah, I'm busy. Right? Elite guests, yeah. Hey, I've t- I was telling you before, am I? I've been I had four <laughs> weeks off, I've had two weeks all day in Portugal, and I've been two weeks radioactive. <laughs> so I've been like a free cat, you know. Yeah. You're the man busy saving lives, you are. But uh no, obviously, so, well, let's say a month ago, um, you, well, you were meant to do it a year ago, weren't you? Yeah, so originally. I was originally signed up to do the Port Macquarie one over in, here in Oz, which is like the, the main one, in, well, I say the main one, <clears throat> it's called Ironman Australia, this is the original one, be going for like 35 years, but then with COVID and everything, that, that got cancelled, mm. it got put back to like September, so I was originally meant to do it in May, it got put back, put back to September, then that got cancelled, and then I changed it to the one in Bustleton, which is Western Australia, which is meant to be in December, and then that got cancelled, and I was like, oh, my God. So, yeah, finally got around to doing it in Cairns. Hot. <laughs> hot, proper hot. Yeah. Yeah, that's <clears> like, uh, for the people who don't know, Cairns is pretty much right on top, isn't it, of Australia? Yeah, north, north, north Queensland, yeah. Got the yeah. map there, actually. But there you go, yeah. <laughs> looks, at this, <laughs> looks a bit small behind me, but, uh, like, yeah, oh, like you said... Off. You scratched off Victoria because you live there. Fuck off. I half, half of Australia scratched me. I haven't <laughs> been to Cairns, though. I haven't actually. Yeah. The furthest I've been up is bloody Sunshine Coast, where John is, and that's not really that high up, is it? Yeah, no. Really, like? No. I never did the backpacker thing where, like, mainly yeah. a lot of people go from, yeah, Cairns and they come down, don't they? Yeah, but they Cairns, yeah. go down the east coast or, like, come straight down to the middle through South Australia. Yeah. That's it, yeah. But That's the big rock. It's uh, it's fucking boiling up there, like all year round on it, Cairns. Proper, yeah, close, humid, like, like super humid, tropical, tropical. And obviously, you're in Ellie Beach. Uh, were yeah. you kind of used to the heat? Like, imagine you went from yeah. say Melbourne to Cairns, you probably wouldn't be as used to the heat. But yeah, were you kind true. of adapted to it. When you were up because because we were training in that heat anyway. Yeah. But Cairns, I don't know why. It's only like it's an eight hour drive further north, and the difference is unreal. It was actually all right on the day, um, thankfully. But like, as in, like it wasn't too humid because because that's the time of year it is. But the heat, it was super hot. Like. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I didn't realize that until I started running. Because <laughs> on the bike, you've got a hell of a wind like, yeah, all the yeah. time, and then you get off, and oh my God, just the sun glaring down. Yeah, <clears throat> it, was, um, it was pretty hot. What time were you running at, roughly? Probably be about three o'clock, would it? Uh, two um, in the afternoon. The swim was half seven, probably nine. About three o'clock, started the run at three o'clock. Yeah. That's like peak peak heat at the time, like yeah. Italian, oh. like. killer. No. Yeah. No. But, so obviously we'll go back a little bit. We'll go talk about your training. Cause I remember texting you and you I said, Oh, when's your Iron Man coming up now? And you were like yeah. six weeks, pal. I was like, <laughs> uh, you started training yet? And you were like, Oh, start <laughs> starting this <laughs> starting this week. I know. It was shocking this time. Yeah. It was like last, when I was pre- prepping for the Port Mac one, mm. um, I was way more prepared and way more up for it. Because yeah. like, you know, it was like the, the new the new thing. And I had um, uh, a half Ironman in Geelong a couple yeah. of months before. And my time was like five hours, five and a half hours. And I was like, yeah, I'm on track. Because my, my goal was to get sub 12 hours for the actual Ironman. Yeah. And I was well on track and like pumping it and training flat out. And then it got cancelled and it got cancelled again. And then it got cancelled again. And I was just so deflated. And then um, the Port Macquarie one this year got cancelled as well, which was in May. And this was, the Cairns one was in last month. Yeah. Um, so I was like, sort of, you know, like you just can't, you, you, you try training as hard as you can, but you, you just at the back of your mind, you're thinking that's going to get fucking cancelled again. And so I was like, sort of go going for it, but not. Um, yeah, what was the question? <laughs> oh, just like if the the train, oh, like the training. Yeah, yeah, you 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 started pretty late, didn't you? Yeah, super late. Okay. We we've got a mate up here um, who runs the tri club, and um, he put a program together for, for us. So every week he was putting something new in. But like, I I Holly was just following it by the book, doing everything, and I'm just sort of. Jo- jumping in, jumping out, still doing a bit of CrossFit, doing yeah. a bit of running. It was just basically, the, the, the main thing I, I made sure I got done every week was the long ride and run, the brick run. So you do like a long ride, first of all, like or however long it is, it's four, five, six hours towards the end. And then you go get off the bike and go straight into that run for like an hour or whatever. But it's like interval sort of running. So you run for 2K, walk for a minute, run for 2K, that kind of thing. And that's what he said is like, if you can't fit everything in, um, just make sure you get that long, that long session every time. But like some, some days towards the end as well, you, you know, the pro, you'd program like to run in the morning, do like a two hour run in the morning, mm-hmm. interval style. And then in the afternoon, you do a 45 minute recovery run again. I never did uh, <laughs> recovery. I never did like two runs in one day. Yeah. No. <clears throat> I tried to get through it by the bare minimum. And, and that's what, um, well, wrecked me on the day because I didn't like I did. I, I wanted to get sub twelve, but I got twelve hours forty. I think yeah. if I'd have followed everything by the book, I'd have managed to get sub twelve probably. Yeah. So, so the running was all the, the hardest thing for you in the actual race. Oh of, God, yeah. like, mate, honestly, like you wouldn't believe. I knew it was going to be bad. Yeah. I never, I never anticipated it to be that bad. It was, <laughs> it was horrendous looking back. <laughs> Because because the swim went fine, like you're not gonna get you know a, a mental time. Well, I I wasn't wasn't I wasn't gonna flog myself because the swim is like the the shortest period. Mm. So like an hour twenty in in the water, <clears throat> um, you know, compared to six hours on the bike. Then. And I and like I was chuffed with six hours on the bike. Yeah. It was pretty windy, but I like looking back. I pushed. I think I pushed a little bit too hard on the bike, but you, you don't realize that until yeah. you get off and start running. I mean, if if you if you're used to doing Ironmans and training that way, you know your body a, a lot more. Like, yeah. Um, but I got off the bike and I, and the first up, like the, the plan was to try and stick to a five thirty to six minute uh, k pace, and I was holding five minute thirty fine, and then after about ten k, I literally just fell off a cliff and I was like, oh, uh, the lactic was to unreal, unreal, and and I think. It's because I pushed it. I went a little bit too quick on the run straight off because it felt so good. The sun was 
was like smashing me. Men on you, yeah. And then, I, honestly, I fell off a cliff. And I remember <clears throat> everyone was watching, like in one 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 area, and you do four laps of this of this like the promenade and um, the up in Cairns. And I did one lap, and that was ten k. And then all of a sudden, I just I just started cramping up and stuff. And then I was thinking, shit, I've got another thirty two k to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And just a cruel in pain, like, like just sustained agony. It was horrendous. Um, but yeah, just you just keep moving. <clears throat> so that like my my pace, from, I went down to like six thirty or seven minute k's then for the rest of the race, and the yeah. sort of goal was to every 2k there's a water station you could have like um uh red bull or flat cork uh, biscuits uh there's like <laughs> it's everything there. but the plan was to every 2k to just stop walk yeah. go again stop walk in the end i was at one point i was down to like running 300 meters walking <laughs> running 300 meters walking yeah <clears throat> um so the, the sort of the game plan went out the window then and it was just about getting through it, like. <clears throat> With when you say lactic acid, I've never, I don't think I've ever had that feeling or pain. But is it like painful, or is it just like your legs literally won't go? It's uh, it, it, both. Yeah. Like when it, I've always had lactic acid, where it's like it wrecks. You know, like if you do a big set or whatever, it's like painful, but you can almost handle it. Yeah. But, doing that I, I literally just like started seizing up like 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 a fucking robot in the end I was yeah. like running around and just trying to do as little steps as possible yeah <laughs> yeah um yeah it was it was pretty pretty rough and obviously like like I said I can't stress enough like a walk like the humidity in Cairns yeah. is like well the heat, it, you know the heat smashed me initially mm. from like three until about half five and then and then there was two and a half hours where the sun went down yeah. and I'd been chucking loads of water over myself and my pace had dropped right down. So my heart rate had dropped right, right, like right down. And then I was freezing cold then because the sun went down as well. Right. So yeah. it went from boiling hot to fucking freezing. Being cold, yeah. Um, yeah, I just couldn't win. Like, yeah. <laughs> feeling sorry for myself the whole time. It's, it's, <laughs> a, it's such a fucking brutal race. Yeah, yeah, man. Like, I had, like, I've always had, like, through a marathon, but it's not one part of me who's... I know you've that. We'll talk about that a bit as well. But you did it for a good cause, you know, teams unite. But like, I got no fucking interest in an Ironman whatsoever. You know, but, um, <laughs> maybe a marathon. You know, I just fucking don't like. Oh, I don't know the swimming, like six hours on a bike. That just fucking sounds awful, by you know. Why though? Like, what, what, what? It depends, I suppose, isn't it, on what you want, sort of thing. Like, mm. as in how you want to test yourself. That's the only way I look at it. Is that I, I, I'm, not, I'm not a runner, I'm not a swimmer, I'm not a cyclist, but it's just testing your, like, t- testing your resolve, if you like. Yeah, your, true. <clears throat> that's the only reason I, 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 I did it for. I, I'm, I wasn't looking to I, I, you know, not compete or anything like that, but, mm. but just to do it for my own, just to tick off the, right, the box yeah. that you've done an Ironman. Yeah. And to do that. <laughs> I, like the Welsh one, is the one I would love to do. Uh, if you'd have asked me like the day after the race or the week after the race, I'd have no chance. I'm never doing an Ironman again. And I won't, I won't do another Ironman again unless it's the Welsh one. I'd love yeah. to do That's the only one I would want to do, just to say, you know, you've done it in your, your home country. And also the, the Tembi one, <clears throat> way harder than the one I've done in Cairns because the hills in Tembi mm. are just unreal. So you're running on those hills and you're cycling on those hills. Um, and, and it's weird. Like, it's like, that, that would, even though I said I wouldn't, it's like I've forgotten how painful it was. Hmm. Um, because I'm say, even saying I'll do it again, like, um, but you do, I don't know why, it's just that little thing. Like, and I can, you, you sort of understand why people can get addicted to it. Like sometimes, you know, that, that, that feeling, I don't think it's the feel, the pain whilst doing it, but it's the feeling afterwards of, you know, accomplishment. And, um, yeah, and that's what probably drives a lot of people. Up. Oh. But the, Oh my god, the the pros of the unreal. <clears throat> so like we'd be out on the, the the guys who do it like week in, week out. Yeah. They were just next level. It's unbelievable how quick they go around. Like the the, the guy who won it in Ken has got six seven hours fifty-eight. Which is so some eight hours. Which is insane. I think he averaged like 
his pace must have been like four minutes, four minutes, ten or something like that uh, on the run. On the uh, run. The yeah. And the bike would have been like 42k uh, an hour. And I seen into the wind and stuff. You see them come past, like you're going for it. But then these, because those will just literally stick with each other all the way around. Yeah, if yeah. and like if they if they cut the fuck up on the on the swim, mm. they'll miss the, the group in the pace and they won't get back into it. That's their race over pretty much. Yeah. Um, but on the bikes, they just go around. They've got to stay 12, 12 meters apart. Um, otherwise, they'll be done for drafting and they'll have like a penalty. But they like I was going for it and they just come past, like flying past you. And you just think, how in God's name are you doing that? Like, yeah. Beasts. Yeah. Um, but, but they're like nine stones soaking wet, you know? Yeah, I bet. <laughs> well, those pros, well, they literally like travel the world doing them, don't they? Like, yeah. go to America, yeah, Wales. Yeah, yeah. You know? the I got in Hawaii. Yeah, I got a year. Well, well I don't know. It says when I looked on world record Iron Man, it was seven hours fifty one. Is that right? Or yeah, it's probably right. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know which Iron Man it was. I don't know. No so idea. Was, um, like you said, it'd be quite hard, like you say, Tembi's got a lot more hills and stuff, isn't it? So it'd be yeah. pretty hard to like Yeah, that time there. Yeah. 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 yeah that's what I mean. Yeah. Whereas so, like in Bustleton in Western Australia, I know that's a really flat one. Mm-hmm. It is a little bit windy, but but people will go there to get their PBs, you know, to ah, get their right. best times. Yeah. Yeah. So it depends what you want. <clears throat> but yeah. but just even like twelve out well, twelve hours forty, weren't you? That's what I wrote. Yeah. About 40, yeah, yeah. 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 That's still a fucking good time, by. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I was happy with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was happy with it, but uh, you know, I'd have been happy with sub twelve. That was kind of like, that was yeah. like a number in my head, like, but yeah. <laughs> So, so obviously, when you start, that's what I wanted to talk to you a bit about too. Obviously, being in Cairns, you know, like, um, was there any like wildlife in the water and stuff? Well, obviously, um, there's wildlife there, but then he like, do you hear any like jellyfish so, stories? Or? Yeah, it does. It crosses your mind, and they've got yeah. they've got choppers going around as well, keeping an eye on things. But you know, like, it pops into your head, but it goes straight away because if you like. Well, the way I look at it is, is there's about a thousand people in the water. What's yeah. the odds on you getting bitten? Um, but there's like, and, and also there's loads of you together. There's crocs up there, but um, they weren't in that. I, I hope they weren't in that area. But if you think, I think crocs like stay on the surface, so that's why they've got the choppers going around all the time. So just look. Yeah. Um, and there's loads of lifeguards up there. <clears throat> Bloke died actually this year uh, in the water up there. Yeah, he, he had a heart attack. He's part of a team, and and he he um had a heart attack in the water. It's awful. First, so, oh, so it's like in the water. So the first stage, yeah. Then. yeah, 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 yeah. But he was like part of a team, and, yeah. and the team went on. They still went on and did the race, but yeah, it was yeah. pretty pretty bad. I, I was going to ask you about that too, because um, look, did you like keep an eye on? Were you always watching your heart rate going round, like <clears> keeping an eye on, trying to keep it at a certain level? Really. Yeah, I, well, I was looking, I was looking more at my pace mm-hmm. when I should have been looking at my heart rate probably, but yeah. then that didn't really matter yeah. when it when it got to the run, um, because I f- could not do anything at that point. Like like when I was on the on the ride, I was pushing to try and get around six hours, when really I should have just taken taken some some pace off to to preserve myself for the run. Yeah. I'm not sure, in, you know. In hindsight, I don't know if it would have made a difference to my time really, because I'd have slowed down, but I'd and I'd have finished at the same time, but felt a lot better maybe. Yeah. No um, but yeah, I was just looking at my pace more than anything, <clears throat> and and also my heart rate dropped down. I was like 100, 110 at one point because <laughs> because I was moving so slow. Like <laughs> when you, yeah. on the when you were running, running is it? Yeah. That's yeah. right. Well. Because like, I, I don't know if you listen to when I when I did one with Mike Worthen, the the other Iron Man, and like yeah. he had like three mini heart attacks afterwards. Like, oh, really? Yeah, but he he put it out. He was on and he was ill before doing it, and he was on antibiotics, and <laughs> he reckons his heart rate was like I can't remember what he said now. It might have been like one eighty or one ninety for like six hours of oh, the race, right. you know? just constantly high, you know, and after the after effects. Obviously, you're a doctor. Yeah. What's the, it's, a, it's a posh word. It's not a cardiac arrest. It's called something. It's like tiny little heart attacks. There is. And you have you like back up pseudo? Could well be. I'm, uh, I can't pseudo, remember. Really. I don't and, know. Um, it was all linked to, it was it was the after effect of the Ironman, like a couple of months after. 
And yeah. um, that's what he put it down to anyway, is that his heart rate was just so high for so long. Oof. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so I wrote that down because I wanted to ask you about uh, obviously checking your heart and, you know, making sure yeah, that's no, kind I, of low. Um, well, not low, but the safe. Yeah, the, goal, the goal in training is to get used, obviously, you know, with any sort of training, but it's to get used to your your is building up your capacity as well so that you can maintain a certain pace at a lower heart rate. Yeah. And the goal is to get quicker without raising your heart rate, you know, eventually. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, six weeks, the program, I, yeah, it didn't happen for me. <laughs> six weeks out is when I started to really like start properly training. 11, I had a program for 11 weeks, but I was just sort of dipping in and dipping out. Yeah, doing a bit. Um, but yeah, it's just time as well, you know, more than anything. Um, if you, especially if you've got loads of other things going on, <clears throat> um, fitting in the time to actually train yeah. properly for an Ironman is, is half a battle. Um, and it was so nice just finally doing it and then having my life back. Yeah. <laughs> having my weekends back and stuff. But, yeah. Did, did, you like, was, did you, like, stop drinking and everything? Like, a proper... Uh, you know, like, well, I, Holly, Holly did like six weeks out she just stopped yeah. completely but I, I, I was just drinking now and again but um, I suppose like the, the two weeks before I, that's when I started thinking yeah I'll, yeah. I'll sort myself out yeah <laughs> stop drinking yeah but yeah you should do it you should you should um, think about it do a half as you just remind me now like you said Holly did like shout out to Holly too because she did the half the, the what do they call it 73 73 yeah. 73 yeah yeah. Well, that's still a yeah. hell of an achievement as well, isn't it? Yeah. She's actually signed up for the Welsh one in September. Mm. I don't know if that's going to... Actually, they found out yet, yes, today back home um, if it's going ahead or not. Is it going ahead? I don't know. I don't know. I think, I it's, I think uh, the, the deadline to decide was literally today. So, um, But, but we, we can't get home anyway because of the, the, the pandemic. So I think it's going to be postponed for her until next year. Like, so. Yeah. You're not coming back now this year. Well, you can't. No, well, obviously, yeah. well, we can. We can get. We can come home, but we can't get back to Australia. That's the issue because they they're just not letting anyone back in at the minute. Because Australia is being a fucking nightmare, boy. And they yeah. like, letting people in and all that stuff. Yeah. Like, it's, uh... it's been, but it's been good in terms like you know, there's been hardly any lockdowns compared to back home and stuff, which is great. But because the numbers have been so low for so long, they've just held it. You know, um, drag their feet in the sand with get rolling out the vaccines. Yeah. But now, now it's just kicked off recently, and they're like, "Shit, we need to catch up." So, hopefully, we'll be home sometime this year. Um, oh, good. Awesome. Yeah. Actually, yeah. <clears throat> I say it's changing all the time, isn't it? Like, I'm kind of just whatever now. It's like they announced yeah. was it yesterday? If you've like yeah. double vaccinated, now you can. Was it? You don't have to isolate or something from an yeah, other country? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, well, that's just, that's just going to happen eventually, I reckon. It's like Singapore just just started going about um, everything as normal as it used to be. Yeah, and just treating, like treating it as as you know another another cold essentially yeah. or another flu. Yeah. yeah but but um, I think they can only do that because they they vaccinated so many people. So I suppose the UK will be doing the same because they yeah. saw they. But, but Australia are not going to be there until like end, end of this year, yes, yeah. probably. I bought yeah. Boris is pretty adamant the 19th, and he is it 19th of July. Oh, well, England, anyway, that ev- everything's going yeah. to be normal and stuff. But uh, hopefully, fuck knows why. I've just, uh, I'm kind of just <laughs> doing, I'm doing whatever. Like, my life hasn't changed. Well, it has changed, of course, it's changed, but I still do what I want to do, you know. Yeah, fair yeah. thing. You're saving a bit of money, and yeah, you're not bloody. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Out and about, and uh, you know, you still gotta wear masks. Do you go out and wear masks? Yeah, you still got to, but it's, it's a lot more relaxed now. I think a lot more people have like stood up to the masks thing. So, like, yeah. people will go into the shops and they just don't wear a mask. Like Jeff, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah Jeff, Jeffrey stood up to him. Um, <laughs> and I don't think people say much now. They just like, oh, all you got to say is I'm exempt, and they go, ah, oh, right on. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> happy days, but you know, but um. No, um, when you were saying, oh, you, you're on about me going to do an Ironman. Uh, yeah, you but, should, but, like, you, you love training, you love you love pushing yourself and testing mm. yourself. A half Ironman is a great shout to, you know, start you off with. I, or maybe like a triathlon. Triathlon, yeah. Like a sprint I, or an Olympic distance. There's more chance of me doing a fucking ultra marathon, by Like a 50 mile. <laughs> yeah. 
when I was when I was in the peak of my running, which I've fucking off the wagon now. I went for a run like this week, but it was like five k. Yeah. I was looking at like um, oh, what's it called? Slam bed, slam bed ultra. And it was like yeah. a fifty k race up fucking mountains, like. Oh, I'd be right there. I got quite good leg, leg power, but it'd be all right. But I never ended up, you know, I just looked at it and I never ended up uh, doing it. But yeah. I, I definitely think I should do something. And like you said, like if you know, if you book something and say, right, I'm going to do this, whether that's, okay. you know, whether that's you, I don't know, doing an Ironman or you're going to do a bloody white collar boxing match. <laughs> if you book yeah. something, you're going to train for it, you know. Yeah, same yourself for it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. But you, I've not, you've done like, you are a bit like that, you are, Rod, you know, I find. Well, I know, well, um, know of you. Like, you're quite uh, goal or are you goal oriented? Yeah, you probably, yeah. yeah. I like to have something to dream for, like, at some point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, yeah. uh, <coughs> obviously, uh, have you got anything else like, like, anything like, um, sport, your physical? A like, marathon, actually. It's <laughs> a marathon, is it? In, uh, <laughs> it sounds like we've we've pre you've got this stuff written down like <clears throat> like we've spoken about this already and <laughs> no we haven't we haven't no, actually no, spoken no, about it, no, no. um uh, there's the early beach marathon that's yeah. next Sunday <clears throat> I've got an exam on Wednesday so I might, I've just been studying for that loads yeah. but then on the Sunday is the early beach marathon so I've signed up to like Holly's still training towards what she's just carrying on with the training for the Welsh one, even though we're not doing it now. Yeah. But um, I thought, okay, I'll, I'll do the marathon. But it's, yeah, um, I haven't run or trained for that at all. Like, I'm just going to do it. <clears throat> see, so see what happens, yeah. I'm not, like, I'm not going to, um, you know, wreck myself, just yeah. just get through it. Nice, but um, what, yeah. what are you doing now? Just CrossFit training at the minute? Yeah, yeah. It's so nice being back to CrossFit and yeah. being like rock up and be done in an hour and yeah. then you're, you're you're back to your normal life like yeah six hours on a bike and then an hour run and <clears throat> um but yeah that's coming up that there's a marathon coming up next Sunday so I'll do that and then after that nothing really no, no other plans after that yeah go climb a mountain or something like summit yeah. to the Kosciuszko <laughs> or something by be a hiker yeah. no, it's, it's quite uh is there many people from the gym doing it with you Ellie, uh, CrossFit Ellie. Two of the boys have just signed up for it. Um, one of the boys, he's a Kiwi lad. <clears throat> he's so funny. He, he's he just he won't train for it. Like loves his CrossFit and stuff, but he'll just he just signed up for it as well. No, yeah. never done a long run in his life before. But you know, like that, that type of person. Yeah. Just do it. And there's one of the other coaches who's doing it as well. He started doing a few runs for it. <clears throat> um, there's a few others doing it as well. Like Paul is doing it. There's, I think, one or two other girls. Yeah. But there's a few different distances. Like, there's a half marathon, there's a 10K and stuff. So, there's a few people uh, signed up for it. So, should be a good crack. But there's, like, that's the, the great thing up here. There's loads of stuff going on all the, all the time up here. They do the um, Hamilton Island. Did you go to Hamilton Island? No. Oh, um, <clears throat> it's, like, one of the islands of the Whitsundays. Hmm. Uh, but they'll do, like, a long sea swim over there once a year. They'll do triathlon over there um on the same weekend yeah and then there's white haven beach <clears throat> which is like this like white white sand and now two weeks ago there was a 10k run on there they do the um hamilton hilly half marathon which is like a, it's like a trail run for 20k trail run which is always something going on you know and now they get the, the the marathon coming up in yeah. two weeks that's so it's good, like, yeah it's always good to just sign up for something and and just just do it just to it? wear a name for like yeah. Say we 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 back you. You've you pretty much got like Swansea half of the old Cardiff marathon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I suppose <clears throat> there's a few things going on if you if you look for it. This you know around Wales, hmm. there's actually um. Oh, that'd be a shout now. Um, the hundred what's it called? Hundred K or hundred something in Mumbles? The Mumbles hundred is it? What's that? Oh, Mumbles Centurion. <clears throat> what is it? They do like a 2K swim on, on the Friday. Um, I think it's a 70K ride on the Saturday and then a, a 20K or some or ah, something yeah. on the Sunday. Have you seen that? Uh, this is the, yeah, it's like the three day thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You sign up for that. Yeah. It's coming up soon as well, I think. I, I actually went swimming, um, what day is it? Sunday, the my yeah. third run. Oh, yeah. I was fucking knackered. Like was. <laughs> was my, my, oh, when my mates all whined. Lawrence, he said, Oh, have you been by? So I go on then. 
surprising but you need goggles to swim didn't you properly like I had no <laughs> goggles no I was just in there man. straight in I was like ah <laughs> oh, first first thing I was going you know going for the old swim uh, front crawl and then I yeah just like breaststroke and then and <laughs> I only did a thousand metres my watch said oh yeah huh okay. Thousand meter, it's a 25k pool in there, mice. 25 meter, yeah, yeah. Couple lengths. But that's no what goggles. happens. So Courtney's actually bought, she bought me new goggles. She's bought me a new goggles. So we are actually going to maybe go down maybe once a week, get some lengths in. Because it's, it's, it's hard. It's like, I was speaking to this. Who was I speaking to? Oh, Tom Barry about it. <laughs> I'm like, whatever sport you do, you can be a fit person. Yeah. But like, it's, fit, it's different fitnesses for everything you do in it. Like, you know, runner, runner's fitness. Then you got a swimmer. Then you got a. That's exactly it. That know? is exactly it. It's good uh, to test. Just do something different. Like if you're doing jiu-jitsu now. That's 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 another fucking beast. Yeah. I did a few sessions over here when I was living in Melbourne, and actually up here as well. But when you 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 try um rolling for five minutes flat out, like oh, it is nice. horrendous. Hmm. <laughs> a couple of sets of those. But yeah, I, I that's what I love. It's just just and that's that's. The good thing about CrossFit as well is it's like it's just constantly varied, you know, different yeah. all the time. Um, but then you know, event it does get a, a little bit same in that you're doing the same sort of movements, just in a different way or a different rep yeah. scheme. Whereas an Ironman or like a triathlon is completely left field, and that's that's what I like is just just try something different all the time, you know. But you should definitely you would love it. I mean, you'd love finishing it <laughs> yeah what was yeah, it like obviously when you crossed that line what was it like oh. were you just was it like relief or was it what were you like oh, unreal unreal just like that red carpet you're running up there and then like yeah. we can't see who you are an iron man and you just oh, run it through like that's always and then afterwards <clears throat> there's like a, an area um under a tent for all the the finishers yeah. and they'll serve like pasta bolognese there'll be a few um beers there a few drinks and i remember just sat like holly and everyone else were outside waiting that but i just i think i sat there for about 20 minutes just like uh, you know just dead <laughs> <laughs> trying, trying to eat so i eat the loads actually yeah because you're stuck up in mm. and like the whole way around on those runs <clears throat> initially like oh oh lovely i guess some uh, i have a biscuit here i'll have a flat cork yeah. and then the next one you're thinking oh my god the next one oh my god the next one um, oh, do you know what? Do you know what was amazing? They had um, marmite on a stick. They call it Vegemite, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little, um, little wooden, um, like lollipop sticks. They just stick it in because it's salt. You got to get as much salt in as possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I and I was craving salt, like just just busting for some <laughs> some 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 salt, some run around it. I give it a go and it's banging. It's like the best thing ever. You never, you never um, tried it before, that. Oh, never, never. Oh, right. uh, but like because you, you you need salt so much. Mm. It, it was like a, a rush of. I was gonna say no. I can't say rush of heroin. It was unreal. Just um, like right up, like yeah, big time. But then at the end of the race, I just sat there, just absolutely dead. But you yeah. just want to eat and eat and eat, and then and just go home and die. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. And then the next day you just wrecked because your your legs are totally gone. Like, yeah. Um, but yeah. So, uh, so, so the, like the next day you wasn't like you've got out of bed. Oh, I actually don't feel that bad. You were actually like yeah, fat, bad. Bad the next day too. Yeah, yeah. Like, just super stiff, you know. Yeah. Super, super stiff. What are you drinking then? I'm on a I'm on bourbon and cork. Nice. You could you convinced me by in the week. You said looking forward <laughs> to speak to you and you having a whiskey. Yeah, <laughs> um, we actually spoke about it before, didn't we? Um, normally, that, whiskey, eh? I normally am. That's a wild turkey is all it is. But I was nice. telling you before, I, I I haven't done a podcast on a Friday night for um <clears throat> while. To be honest, it's yeah. normally like the midweekers or like four o'clock in the afternoon and stuff. So I don't really want to. Yeah. Sometimes I'll do a podcast and I'm like, da da da, right, I'm out and I'm going to do something. But yeah, no, I thought I'll have a have a little whiskey with the rods now. Okay. And uh, <laughs> so we haven't really spoke, like we speak a bit in the text and stuff, but we haven't not actually properly, spoken not. properly over this, you know. So I'll uh, yeah. drink with you, bye. It's and, a little uh, debrief for me. <laughs> a little what? A little debrief for me. It's good. 
yeah, it's good to <clears throat> catch up as well. And it's yeah. nice, it's nice speaking to like I like speaking to like you know friends as well. It's not, yeah, you know, I, I've had a couple of obviously I've had a lot, I've had friends on, but I've also had people like you know, obviously I don't know. And sometimes yeah. when you're talking to them, it's kind of I don't know, you can't be a bit silly with them, you know. Oh, you can be silly, but it's you don't know how they're gonna react and stuff and like, yeah, try and be professional and stuff, you know what I mean? But uh, <coughs> yeah, no, it's uh, no, enjoying it by really good. And what's the plan? You're going to train well, it's hack, you got up, but it's half past five in the morning for you, isn't it? You got up, yeah, and you're going to go CrossFit later on this morning, CrossFit at seven, seven yeah. o'clock, nice, yeah, man. blast it out, exactly. I was going to ask you too quickly about um, do you, you know, you training for the iron man do you lose much weight i didn't actually oh. i in for the um for last year for the port mac i was going by the book and i dropped like four or five k yeah um but this time i sort of kept my weight the whole time but but i was just eating shit i was you literally really just doing doing what I want. And, you know ideally because you, you, mm-hmm. you, you do want to lose a few kilograms as that makes a hell of a difference especially when, when you're on the bike and when you're running mm your joints um but yeah no I, I i kept the same weight i actually got in worse shape <laughs> training for an iron man i got in worse shape like worse shape than i've ever been in now i'm back to crossfit i feel much better like yeah. yeah um yeah but ideally you want to try and lose a little bit of, of weight b- before the race um but yeah, no, I didn't. I actually didn't lose any weight this kept time. The, just kept grabbing well. Like. Like you, you think, yeah, you need the calories for you know, because of the distance and everything. And I just took that to the next level. I was like, yeah, I need the calories. That was my excuse for everything. <laughs> oh, did you obviously you wore your watch today? You? Doing it all. Yeah, yeah. How much cal- did you have your calories burned? Oh yeah, Se- seven thousand. I think it was just over seven thousand. Seven thousand calories. Yeah, yeah, that's mad, boy. It was mad, actually, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Like what? Yeah, what, what's an average you'd burn? I think what's mine for a, a, on every day. Yeah, what's day to day? Like what an average person. Just just day to day is two thousand calories. Two thousand. You're doing insane. Roughly. Yeah. And maybe I do need to do an Iron Man by. <laughs> well, no, you're looking at mental neck. What have you been doing? Then? No, nothing. I, I've seen you I, I've seen in, in your in your Portugal photos, by. Yeah, rig out like. No, I, I, I uh, what is it? Like last year, I just said, you know what? I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna lose some weight. And um, <laughs> well, jo- John, you know, John, he's always said about my fitness pal. My brother's all he uses as well. Because boys, it's easy. All you do is track your calories. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah. And then I go, all right, oh, I'll just fucking have a go. Because I didn't like the fact of you know, like weighing your food and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's actually really, really easy. It's like so easy. Actually, yeah. Well, you've done it yourself, Rod, haven't you? I've done it, I did it once a while back, funny enough, after speaking to John. Um, but for the first sort of two weeks, you track everything by the book and then it yeah. just gets easier after because you sort of have an idea yeah. in your head then as well. Yeah. You? Like, but what, what was your weight then? What was, what's the heaviest you've been, been at? Like ever? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Uh, probably, <laughs> I don't know what it is in kilos, but about like 17 and a half, 17, 10. So yeah. what's that about? Maybe 110, uh, is it? 112? 104, 105, is it? Or is oh, it 110? Uh, no, no, no. 104 is only like 16, something. Oh, that's where I've always been about. But yeah, cut long. So just to say, I, I think I started at about 104, 105. And when I when I lost all the weight, I actually went down to 89 kilos. And yeah. I had everyone tell me, well, a lot of people say I look good, and I had other people tell me I look sick and stuff. But <laughs> it's just, I just think it's because well, you, you, I've always been known as quite like a, a plump guy, do you know what I mean? Like a bigger guy. So <clears throat> when you lose weight, the first thing you lose weight is your face, mainly, isn't it? Your, your yeah. face goes drawn. And yeah, like, unfortunately, gone. when people lose weight, it's always where you want, where you want to lose your stomach, that's always the last where you lose the weight, you know? Yeah. So, but yeah, I lost the weight and then. Yeah, it's just, I, mean, my whole, I had my holiday. And the, the thing was, I wanted, oh, it's my 30th now. I just want to maybe look all right for my 30th. And uh, yeah. it's just, it's, it's creeped up, Rod. It has, like, it's, um, I'm, like, about 98 now, 97, 97 yeah. 98. But I'm still doing a little bit, but not, I am tracking, but I'm not tracking, you know. It's, I'm enjoying. Carbs as well, or do you keto? No, I eat whatever. Carbs. You just eat 
it's just calorie content sort of yeah thing. i'll like magnums and stuff in the night yeah <laughs> what, 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 what i find helps what would I, speak? I think i speak in uh hosford about it and he does the same as me i like in, it's intermittent. I don't eat oh, breakfast yeah. pretty much, yeah. yeah, yeah. So That's I won't awesome. eat my first meal till 12 one o'clock, yeah. And then obviously, then it's like because it's and a place like did I speak yeah. to did I speak to you about it? I can't remember well, about I that. Think we've spoken yeah. About it, yeah, yeah, right. Eat nothing till 12 or 1 later I'll, on, yeah. I'll magnum for lunch, <laughs> no magnum for lunch, no for overnight lunch. Uh, protein. Oats, um, I always have oats. My first meal is uh, oats, but it's surprising because uh, you get up, you get up early, and you eat your fucking breakfast or whatever. Say so you get up at six, you have a bowl of cereal or whatever you have. By eight o'clock, you're angry again. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's it, then. Then you fucking pick up the and yeah, <clears throat> you, you've act like fifteen hundred calories for fucking midday. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it is, isn't it? So I, I prefer to just get on with it, just maybe have like a coffee and uh, save my calories for the evening. And then normally I've got like a few calories left. So if I, you know, watching someone on telly, I'll have like the Magnum men, you know? Yeah. That's what I normally do, by you know. There we go, guys. That's the <laughs> tricks of the trade. I lose weight. Magnum and a bourbon. <laughs> yeah. Magnum and a bourbon. Yeah. I haven't, um, yeah, like I said, I'm not tracking now. I had a pizza as well earlier. <laughs> I say I'm glad you I'm glad you didn't bail on me as well because uh, I was going to go to the Aubrey tonight for food with a boy. Oh, yeah, have been, well, we've, we've, I've been there. No, no, oh, boy, one, I really like it. Massive, yeah, okay. massive foods, you know. Yeah, um, nice. I don't know. It's new owners, but it's always it's always busy in the Aubrey now. Yeah, I mean, when to... I came home like a year and a half ago, they were doing out the the new sort of restaurant part of it, you know. Oh, so you haven't even seen that, have you? The new restaurant? No, 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 no. They, I think well, it might have just been up by then, by the time we were leaving, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah. But no, I've not been there. Oh, no, it's, but, it's yeah, really good. good things. Is that Clockworks? Is that still going? Yeah, still going, Clockworks. That's like just, you know, budget, fucking burger and chips and all that type of stuff. Yeah. Fucking yeah. expensive for a pint, I mean. Well, saying that, everyone's gone expensive by, to be honest, for a pint. What's a pint back home now? Talking like fucking, well, I might sound like a tight guy you now, there. Not for like two for fifty a pint right now. I'm joking. <laughs> the fucking joke. No, what? it's it's like it's like like four fifty, four sixty a pint now when you're out yeah. in a strand, you know. Before you yeah. expect to go to Cardiff or Swansea and like you pay them, but now you're paying yeah. that. What was the pint in in Swansea now? In, in like uplands or I haven't been to Swansea for uh for a while, but we I was telling the boys we need to do something for the Lions. Maybe go out. Um, if it goes ahead, if, yeah, that's another thing. If it goes ahead, yeah. you've been watching, yeah. you been following it over there. Well, it's only been two games. I watched, I watched the start of of the Bulls game the other day. Was it the Bulls? Yeah, yeah. yeah. the Bulls. Yeah, um, but it, yeah, I, I I I actually paid for a subscription on Stan. Do you remember Stan when you were yeah. there? That's where it's on, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and um, yes. oh no, sorry, no, Ko Ko. Do you have KO, KO, yeah. KO Sports? Anyway, um, yeah, but I I haven't got around to watching it probably yeah. yet. But I got them especially for the tests. Mm. Um, but yeah, I will catch up on stuff. But yeah, a nightmare to me. Yeah, what's, your thoughts, what's your oh. thoughts on, on it going ahead then? As in, like, uh, do you think they out there or, or, or not? Do I think they'll play the games? Yeah. Do you think that... I think it's a bit of a... I don't know. It's a bit of a joke, really. Mm. It look, it's, yeah, it's fucking weird to watch, I find. There's like empty yeah. stadiums and the Lions yeah. is such a big, like... Well I, well, I enjoy the Lions. I was there four years ago in New Zealand with the boys. Yeah. Um, do you remember? I don't know. We if were open, I was open to go over there for the South Africa, for this one. It's the one um, tour yeah. I do. The South Africa. Want to go over there. Yeah. The I remember you saying, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cla- typical. It'd be no. good if they just, I was going to say, good if they just cancelled this year and postponed it to next postponed year. Postponed it, yeah. Like they yeah, do with the Euros. Probably, like, you know? And fucking old Tyson Fury's positive, isn't he? His fight's been postponed. Oh, it has, is it? Yeah. Uh, well, it's actually... One person in his camp was positive, but... Turns out... Well, I, maybe it was one person, but Fury's got it too. <clears throat> now. Yeah. So when was it meant to be the fight? Back, next weekend. Uh, 24th of this month. So next weekend, or the one after? after. Mm. So that's <sighs> been postponed, and it's kind of... Like you say, the, the Lions is... Uh, you could say it's been in the Lions camp. South Africa's having a hammering, haven't they? With the yeah, 
So it's it's funny, like the, the Euros. I don't have you been following the Euros over there? Not not as much. Yeah, soccer soccer over here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Non existent. Uh, a little it? bit though, yeah. Is it coming home? Oh, I don't know by times I drop <laughs> I'm dropping this uh this Friday night now. This will be dropped on Wednesday. So we're gonna know what time as I drop this. We're gonna know yeah, you don't want to say anything. Yeah, I saw that interview with Casper um, Schmeichel saying, as well, <laughs> you know, I love that. But then yeah. there's anyone screaming. When, when does it ever come home? Hey, I, I've, I've, I have been following a bit today, and Italy do they are the team to beat, mind Italy are. They, they look okay, really. good. They're looking really good, Italy. Yeah, it's more like, you know, it's not the footballer's fault. It's just the media, man. They're just fucking hell. It's yeah, everywhere, boy. Like the moment I get in my car, to go to work in the morning is fucking yeah. radio one is just that like <clears throat> fucking football about if they win football. they'll be even more insufferable <clears throat> uh but like if we if wales will go into the get into the final they'd be saying the exact same thing when they <laughs> can you imagine yeah, I, the welsh I, I don't think we'd have much i, I don't think the media be so thing or if wales yeah, would, you reckon? i don't know maybe they yeah, would yeah. um but i don't know <sighs> It says everyone hates like even in Australia, yeah. mind they fucking hate English, don't they? Yeah, the oh, yeah. It's, uh, but then the Kiwis hate the Aussies, don't they? Big time. Yeah, well, it's like actually, the same relationship Welsh and English with Kiwis and Aussies. <coughs> oh, sorry, alarm. You're fucking yeah. leaving me by you. No, that's not for me. That was meant for Holly, but uh, uh, she, yeah, she's event, like, no, yeah. they actually call um, what do they the. The Australians call the English POMS, and A P O M S, which stands yeah, for. Yeah. You know what it stands I mean, for? It? No. Stands for yeah. prisoner, prisoner of Her Majesty. No way. Yeah, that's what they call them. POMS. There we are. There's an educational uh, tip there for me. Yeah. Now. They, when I was over there, they used to be like, ah, fucking POMS. I'm like, why are you calling them POMS for? And then they, someone yeah. told me, then, prisoner of Her Majesty. <laughs> no. But they don't, they get, they like, they get on with the Welsh and the Irish and the Scots, and they, it's just um, yeah. the English. But hey, I've got a lot of English friends. It's not, uh, <laughs> nothing really against you guys, but it's more the media, maybe. So, yeah. But listen, bye. I'll leave you go anyway, because uh, we are coming up. Well, fucking time flies by. I told you we'd only be over half hour. We're coming up to nearly 50 minutes. So, How is it? Um, yeah, I'm enjoyed, by it. Uh, but like I said, oh, obviously, fuck, I didn't even bring that up. Do you want to briefly talk about, obviously you did the Ironman for a good charity, Teens Unite. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you want to give out a bit of a yeah, yeah. shout out? Just Teens Unite, it's called Teens Unite. Um, maybe you could put up a link in your bit, that'd be awesome. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, essentially, it's a UK-based charity that, that um, supports teenagers who have been diagnosed with cancer um, and just helps them sort of get through their, their, their prognosis, you know, whatever that is, you know, where it's lots of these teenagers um, are terminal, lots are, are aren't, um, but it's just sort of supporting them and um, helping them realise, you know, it's 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 not, um, you know, it, being diagnosed with cancer doesn't mean you can't do things, you know. So it's, it's they just they get support groups and they get out and you know go and watch sport or go to the cinema, go and meet up and do entrepreneurial stuff. It's really, really good. Um, it's a charity that my mother's supported for many years and that's what sort of got me into it. But um, yeah, if you, you can look on their site and, and read up a bit more about it, but um, it's something um, I would be really appreciative if, if you could like donate a little, a, f- a few coins, that would be awesome. Yeah. C- c- can people still donate to your, could you do the yeah, but They can, right? yeah. You can still donate to that, but but you can go on to the site. You can go on to Teens Unite and, yeah. and donate directly. It doesn't really matter. No. But yeah, cheers no. for that, Paul. No, brilliant, I say it's a good cause. And I suppose when you're doing it too, it kind of gives you that bit of... You know, that was huge. That's, huge a, that's a really good point, actually, hmm. is to have that to sort of keep driving you on kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, like because if, if you didn't have that, you could have might. Well, I'm not saying you would have, but you could have been like, no. "Oh fucking hell, I'll just do it." Yeah, that's yeah. something a real big motivator that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Because I was in agony, but then you just think, well, you know, are you really in agony? Yeah, are, are you really suffering? No. Um, but yeah, that was, that's a really good point. <clears throat> oh, oh, brilliant, by well, top man, by and like I say, we can follow uh, at we well, at Rodri Clancy, I think. Yeah. And while you're at it, follow CrossFit Ellie Beach too, is it? CF yeah, Ellie Beach. 
TF Valley Beach. Yeah, yeah. doing well. It's, uh, <laughs> I see. Um, yeah. yeah, you've you've always got a full house there. Fair play. I see on Instagram. Yeah, it's busy. lots of mem- lots of new members. It's great. Yeah, yeah. Pump so in. Keep that going. Any- huh? No, I was going to say any of um any of my Aussie mates or followers I got. You know, if you're up in cross uh, up in CrossFit, if you're up in Ellie Beach, yeah, pop in, innit? Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Uh, Holly will give you a good sweat, like a good workout for the <laughs> for the weekend, for your holidays. Yeah. <laughs> Top man, Rodsby. Rodri Clancy, everybody. You.